right so you have the actual missile launcher here glove. this is actually a garden glove right a um, a holder for the missile um, launcher okay it's actually a plastic toy I include into my glove right battery pack okay to uh, ignite the fuse the fuse are found uh, where is the fuse oh my fuse is missing oh there it is okay here's the fuse okay and uh, it's already connected I just put into the uh, launcher which I drill a hole in there I put the fuse in there like this all right and uh, propellant powder is already in there so once I press this button here allow me to launch the missile now the cool thing about this system it has a safety pin so I need to put this in first okay. see there right once it's light on that means that this sim is ready to go right so it has a safety pin so it, by act, in case by accident I press it by mistake so take it out when you're ready to launch put it in then you press this button there okay so let's look at the structure and anatomy of this uh, pyro missile glove you notice that um, I have, let's look at the um, missile launcher in the first, first. Okay, so you see this is the missile, uh, it's a plastic tubing from the fireworks, same as these. This one, this is a um, paper tubing for, from the fireworks, and uh, you can get it, you know, um, it might have been left during the fireworks, you can just pick that up, you know, or you can just purchase it uh, through the fireworks stores, right? But these are actually um, empty tube. Um, and I drill a little hole in here so I can load my igniter so you can see here in my fuse igniter okay let's take that out for a minute let's see Ooh, hope I don't break it okay there we go okay so you can see there is a fuse and look up closer right so what you want to do is um, you load your um, propellant powder into this uh, launcher this um, missile launcher right and then put a piece of paper into it and then put the um, plastic missile at the end then you want to do is load the fuse into that holes okay like this okay you okay, notice that this glove has a plastic um, uh, launcher to uh, holder for the uh, tube launcher okay i actually glued it into my uh, glove so i can actually have not just one but maybe multiple one if i wanted to I, for now i'm just using just one of the missile launcher see i got this actually from um, one of the toys um, that allowed me to just plug into my the launcher into my this tube so this is actually removable let's take it out from it oh. okay so it can be taken out and then you s click it in like that cool huh and of course let's look at the wire notice I have a battery powered um, pack now this one is actually from a rocket um, parts um, that you know I didn't use anymore Now the one feature I like about this um, battery pack it has a safety pin okay so I don't accidentally dislaunch my uh, rocket so I have to put this safety pin into first and you see there's a glow that means that it's ready to go Okay, so it's ready to go. Then I can just press this button and boom, you'll get the uh, missile launching. So that's a very cool feature to have. You can get this one around five to eight bucks um, from a hobby rocket store, okay, rocket hobby store. Um, I just happen to have one lying around and I don't use for my rocket hobby, so I'm using it now. Okay, it runs on a uh, four AA battery, so a six volt system. So again, cool to have a pin, safety pin, because you don't, you don't want to launch it by accident and when you're ready you press this button here and it's going to launch. Now I don't have the uh, propellant uh, to launch my missile yet okay I'm not going to do that in the house it's very dangerous okay so you don't want to do that but I'm going to show you the fuse how it's going to ignite the igniter okay so let's, let's see let me just show you by pressing the button right this fuse here would actually burn and the, th the, the me mechanism behind that is once it's burned, it will discharge the um, propellant inside this launcher 
and then in turn have enough gas expansion to propel this uh, plastic missile. Okay, let's see. Let's now first put in the safety pin key. Okay, so now you know it's ready. The light's on. Then press this button to ignite the fuse. Watch this. You see that? Okay, it worked perfectly. Okay.